all, it's Alma with the Cat's Pajamas, and today I want to show you how to make wobblers and add them to your card. Look how cute they are. Here's another one. Now let's make them. To make the wobblers, I'm using the pull tab from our Sliders Cut-Ups die. Cut two of these pull tabs for each wobbler. I'll be using half-inch glue dots and wire. I make wreaths, so I have this paddle of floral wire around the house, and I think it's either 22 or 24 gauge wire. In addition, I'll need a dowel or a pen that falls within the confines of one side of the pull tab. Now I'm holding the end of the wire with my thumb, and I'm wrapping the wire around at least four times around the pen or the dowel. Now slide it off the pen, and you have a corkscrew. So I'm just going to clip it off with a wire cutter. Take each end and bend it into a 45 degree angle. This gives the adhesive something to grab onto. Now take the pull tab and attach a glue dot to one side. Take the wire and slide into the V of the tab and press the end of the wire into the glue dot. Fold over the tab and adhere to the glue dot. Now that's one side. Let's do the same on the other side. Add a glue dot to one side of the tab. Insert the wire into the V. Press the wire into the tab and fold over the tab. And that's it. Now let's put it on something. I have this card that I made, and I think this wobbler will be perfect on this jittery chihuahua. I'll add a glue dot to one of the tabs. And when placing the tab, you want to try and find the center weight of the image. Now another glue dot on the back of the wobbler, and attach it. There you go. Cute. Now I think that's it. Let's do another one. I've got the parts of this card already cut. The finished card is four and a quarter by five and a half. I have the craft base and I've attached a smaller black mat and an even smaller striped layer. I'm I'm adding a turquoise strip, but I think it needs to stand out a little bit from the base, so I'm applying two shades of turquoise to the edges with my foam stylus. I think that's a lot better and it stands out. Now a black postage frame from the square stamp set. It also cuts the inside, so I've cut the center from craft paper. I've stamped and colored the sleepy cat from the What the Froth stamp set. And now I'm going to stamp the hat on the scrap of the turquoise stripe. Finally, I'll stamp the sentiment on this ticket shape. Now let's cut out the hat and attach it to the cat that I've already colored. It's a great way to tie in the image to the card. Let's fussy cut the cat, leaving the 
leaving the tiniest of white borders. If any. When that's done, use a water-based marker to color the edge and the white border so that no white shows. This gives the wobbler a finished look. Time to make the wobbler. Use the pull tab from the slider cutouts and cut two pieces. Wrap the wire around the pen at least four times and clip the wire. Fold the ends of the wire into a 45 degree angle. That, that'll work. Now place a glue dot on one side of the tab and insert the wire into the V and press the tab, the end of the tab, into the glue dot and fold over. Do the same to the other side. wobbles. Now let's attach it to the cat with glue dots. Try to find the center weight of the cat. And then attach another glue dot to the base wobbler and attach it to the card. Now I like this sentiment, but I think I want to add a bit of color. So I'm stamping this cup above it and I'm coloring it in, bringing the blue of the card into the sentiment. That looks good. Now a little foam tape. I'll attach it to the front of the card. Now a little twine for some texture. Now I think I want a little bit more color, so I'm adding these dots. So I want to pull this color I'm adding into the cat. I'll just color out the little fishes. I love the wobble. It's easy to make cards that wobble. I hope you give it a try. You can find all the stamps and dies on the Cat's Pajamas website. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day! Mm -hmm.